Hello, this is Makita of the Boston Badoofs, and I'm going to bring to you my week one team builder for season four of the SCL uh, versus the Venice Beach Vaporeons. Um, so as you can see on his team, he's got a couple interesting things, as in uh, Corviknight G-Max and Porygon 2, which I've both used in the past, um, as well as Ditto, which is very interesting, and Deonsi as his like, highest tier pick. So he's got a pretty interesting team. Um, so let's go over what I've brought and why this week. So, starting at the top, I have my Eviolite Lickitung. I was bringing it because, uh, one, I really want to use Lickitung, and I feel like this is one of the weeks that I can get away with it without too much of a struggle. Um, I brought Seismic Toss, Knock Off, Toxic, and Wish, and the reason for this is for the Porygon to mostly, but for everything that doesn't like to get knocked off or toxic, uh, it's going to be very useful. Um, it can outstall the uh, Porygon to because of... Uh, knock off and toxic uh, as well as re being able to recover itself with wish um, I thought about bringing Heal so I could fully stall it But to be honest, I think just those are good enough uh, If I get a toxic off, it's going to die eventually especially if I knock it off and he can't probably touch Something else on my team like maybe the Metagross if he doesn't bring Shadow Ball the Grim Snarl is just neutral for everything except Shadow Ball tri attack or I guess tri attacks neutral, but you know what I mean <laughs> So I just was excited to use it this week, so I brought an Eviolite, obviously it's the best item you can put on it, especially defensive, um, and I hope that I can destroy his Porygon too with my Lickitung, that's my goal. Next up is my Chandelure, uh, I actually brought a Choice Scarf this week, the reason for that being, uh, I felt like most of my team is fairly slow and his fastest things, uh, Tentacool and Alakazam, they are... I mean, Alakazam is easily taken out by Chandelure, and I don't see anyone running a Choice Scarf on Alakazam. If they do, I have Grim Snarl. I have other ways to deal with it. Um, but for the most part, being fast and hitting him with my strong stab combination is what I want to do, especially when he has Pokemon like uh, Alakazam and Corviknight, which does not want to uh, take too many fire attacks. So. It seems like an obvious team for me to bring Jolteon on, but I really just couldn't fit him because I, I have so much good stuff on my team that it's going to be a struggle um, to fit some things on this season. So I left out Jolteon, even though it would be very helpful and it's very fast. Uh, I just felt like these were better options overall, so that's what I'm sticking with. Third up, I got my Choice Band Metagross. Um, I brought Choice Band Metagross because one, he has a Deancey, which is extremely defensive, and I want that extra damage. And two, Priority Steel versus that Deancey is going to be a lifesaver because uh, its four times weakness is going to be very, imp uh, very <laughs> important to exploit. I have Thunder Punch on here because of the Corviknight and the Tentacruel, but that also gets hit by Zen Head. But um, and Meteor Mash is just a great stab move. I can raise my attack if I'm lucky. Uh, it's a nice upgrade even when I'm locked into a move. Next up is my Dragonite with Heavy Duty Boots. Uh, heavy Duty Boots because I don't want to worry about spikes or uh, Stealth Rocks. Um, I just want to make sure my multi-scale is intact, especially when I have Lickitung there to Wish Pass. And I have Fire Punch to uh, also deal with that Corviknight as well as Dual Wing Beat and Earthquake. So unfortunately, Fire Punch doesn't do nearly enough damage, especially if he G-Maxes. But if I can get a couple Dragon Dances off, it's pretty much over and he can't really touch me back. So I'm excited to see if I can get it to work this week. Next up is my Mamoswine with Life Orb. Uh, another priority user I felt was going to be very useful uh, just because of my middling speed tier on so most of my stuff. He has a lot of fast stuff. So Earthquake will be nice to hit on anything on his team, except Corviknight, which I have Stone Edge for, and Ice Shard should do a decent chunk. So uh, it's just a really hard hitting Mon. I'm excited to use it this season. Not sure I picked the most optimal set for him this week, but I still want to try him out. So let's see what happens. And last but not least is my Grim Snarl G Max. I brought uh, Spirit Break, Taunt, Light Screen, and Reflect. The reason for this is Fairy Stab is amazing, and the second reason is uh, I'm really going for that uh, screen stall over the damage, so if I get that up, I'm not sure he's going to be able to deal with it, 
And Taunt is very useful, especially if I get to the Corviknight, even though I'm weak to steel. The Taunt, at the very least, will prevent him from setting up on me. And, uh, or getting any, uh, boosts before he hits me with the steel attack, if he even runs it. Usually you just run Body Press or Brave Bird, but Iron Head is definitely possible. So, that's my team. Didn't put as much thought into it as I usually do, um, but that's okay. This week I'm just gonna try to have some fun with some new stuff that I wanted to try out. And, uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright, so we're about to battle. I'm about to send him the challenge. And we're gonna get week one's battle done. So let's see how this goes. Let's see what it brings. I'm 100% expecting Porygon. Porygon and Deancey at the very least. Come on, buddy. The message him. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, Porygon to Yancey, as expected. He's barbarical. That's interesting. Um, I think I'm gonna lead Lickitung. Just because. I want to. The only thing he can hit me super effectively with is the Hitmonlee. Um, so, we'll see. Oh! He sent out the Rotten Chicken Nugget first. That's not good. I think I'm just gonna go... for the... Mm, toxic? Just to see what happens. He got that out of the way. That's a, that's a shame. Oh. Well. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I gotta let it die. I, I can't switch anything into that. Ooh, he's white herb, so that means he's unburdened. Which means he's probably going to outspeed me now. Um, with everything. But that's okay, because I have Dragonite. So I'm just going to go to Dragonite and I'm going to dual wing beat. Uh, even if he hits me with something, the, multi or the Stone Edge, the multi-skill is going to mitigate that damage a little bit. So, let's see what happens. I don't know if you want it in. Oops. Yeah, he stayed in an Earthquake. He shouldn't have done that. Um, he's definitely going to Shell Smash. I want to Earthquake. Again. He's going to Stone Edge. Cool. So, because he didn't Shell Smash, I'm just going to 2-hit KO him here. If he had, uh... If he had Shell Smash there, he would have lived the hit and maybe been able to one-hit me there. Did Jonathan want any? Um, he was messing up pretty bad. So what he should have done is just sacked something, but he's he got uh, scared and decided to keep switching out, which is unfortunate for him because now Earthquake is just gonna hit everything on his team. Oh, he outsped me! Duh. Blizzard. That's very interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I'm just gonna go into Metagross. I doubt he's Scarf, but if he is, he's now locked in. I'm just gonna go for the Thunder Punch, because if he switches into Corviknight, at least I'll still hit him super effectively. Um, if he expects the Psychic move, that's fine. But now I'm gonna have trouble with that Porygon. <laughs> Do I still have Knock Off? I do. Cool. There it is. Cool. Nice. According to plan. Now he's gonna switch again. Oh, he's gonna let it die. He should have G-maxed. I mean, I guess it didn't matter. I did 75%. Hmm. Hmm. 
I'm gonna taunt him here. Power play is an interesting move. I never used that on my Porygon when I ran it. But it would have been good. Your body doesn't stop taunt, right? It just stops. I'm pretty sure it just stops stat drops. I'm just worrying for no reason. I'm just gonna go back into Metagross here because I know two of his moves aren't very effective against me. So, uh. Hopefully, that I will do damage. Someone's asking for team help right now. So I'm gonna just go for Thunder Punch again. It's gonna be unfortunate against that, uh... Hmm. Maybe I just... I'm just gonna go Zen Headbutt here. Yeah. So things are looking good. That Porygon is still definitely a problem, but I should be able to stall it, and if I can get a knockoff off with my Mamoswine, at the very least, uh, I'll be able to just get rid of his bolt. Oh, and I missed. Great. So I might have to just G-Max this next turn just to get some damage off on it. Uh, if he switches into Tentacruel, um, at least I'll get some chip. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the Dark type one. I just have the Fairy because I went with Taunt this week. But that's fine because he can't really touch my Metagross. At least he hasn't shown away he can. Those two are making good core for me right now. Hopefully the Zen Headbutt doesn't miss. Or if he has something like Scald, that would be a really good thing against me. If he can get that burn off. Nope. Looks like he's choiced. Yeah. That's fine with me. Let's see how much damage I could do. Okay, that's not very much. Oh, the flinch. I guess that makes up for turn one. <laughs> he can try. I just gotta flinch him again. Alright, that's game. I win. Uh, it was a good battle, Adrian. Thanks for the playing, and uh, good luck in the future weeks of the uh, draft.